Hi, so today we're excited, well not excited, but we're going to talk about autism and mental health. So we thought we'd start by maybe talking about a few books. Right, so the first one is um, called Exploring Depression and Beating the Blues. It's written by Tony Atwood and we went to, we heard Tony Atwood in Manchester and he was talking about mental health and he was talking about this book. We'd recommend that you read it yourself, but what one of the important things that he says and we found it is true, he said that autistic people you know whether you're an adult or a child they have they get energy and they get the ability to carry on by doing certain things now in your case it might be um what you know what what gives you energy back stimming, when you, stimming does and does sort of watching some for your special interest like you said the other week well that might that might make me stim more yeah yeah um <laughs> so that helps but the thing is that so what would drain you of energy? Uh, I think I'm spending a lot of time with surrounded by loads of people. For yeah, yeah. That's so, so certain things like, you know, even being in college and, and doing and even giving a speech um, would, would maybe leave you feeling absolutely exhausted. And yeah. the way you get your energy back is that you will, you know, stim and you need that time. But what, what Tony Atwood said, and we found it to be true, what he actually said is that it's really important to, to sort of not let your energy levels run dry. So you have to build in breaks and plan your days in such a way that you don't completely crash. Because when you completely crash, what happens, Alex? Um, then I'm just really, really stressed out. And just... and um. And then I don't feel like I can cope with doing anything. I, yeah. I can cope with doing very few things. Yeah, and, and sometimes that's when the really negative thoughts get really bad. And you can start thinking, and, and even sometimes you can have what Tony Atwood calls a suicide attack, which is you've been okay all day and suddenly you get this terrible, terrible attack of depression. So, so what he says is that that actually sort of like, you know, a, a, that is a very serious thing. and. And in this, he, he sort of has, um, you know, obviously he goes through um, medication and all sorts of things, social support, um, pleasurable activities. And one of the things that he said that we have done, haven't we, um, is to sort of have what's known as a mental health first aid box or something so that in the midst of that depression, you, ha you have a list and you have a box of all the things that you really, really enjoy. So when you go into this really, really deep, um, uh, something that will rebuild those energy levels, but he does recommend that actually you, you, you help to work out when those energy levels, you know, so you put it in place and you plan to have the breaks rather than take yourself to the edge, which I think when you're in college, that is how you cope, really, isn't it, Alex? Yes, I just had all the break times. I just went off by myself. Yeah, so you you would you would ha sit in the lessons, but then every break time, lunch time, every break time, you just went on your own and you stimmed, and that helped you to cope. Mm -hmm.